In this session, we're going to show you how to do Laurent screenshots. Screenshots are important for learning. You can post them on Facebook, forums, or email them. You can take a picture with your phone, but the image usually sucks. It's just poor quality. You get a reflection. You don't get to see a screenshot like this one. I also will cover how to get the screenshot from your Lorentz to an SD card. Capturing screenshots is different on different Lorentz models. Some Lorentz models use micro SD cards and some use standard SD cards to transfer the screenshots. I recommend a blank SD card for transferring screenshots and waypoints. The live Elite TI2, Hook2, and the recent Carbon software update are pretty much the same. You press and hold the power button and the pages button at the same time and then release them. The image is saved in storage on these models. You access that by pressing the pages button, select storage, then select my files, and there's the screenshots. I like to touch the triangle on the right and then I select copy all. This copies them all to a, an SD card. I then select delete since I don't like lots of screenshots on the unit. If I take new ones and select copy all, I'm copying the old ones with the new ones which is confusing when you start to import them to the computer for viewing. So you got old ones again. You select OK if the correct memory card is selected. And then they're transferred to the card. The older carbon software in the Gen 3, HDS Gen 2, and Elite TI take screenshots the same way, but they're stored by a different path. Press the Pages button, touch and drag the left taskbar up to see Files, select Files, and then select My Files and Screenshots. Now the Elite Mark Chirp HDI and Hook models save screenshots differently. You must have an SD card in the card slot in order to save screenshots and they are saved directly to the card which is different than the other models. The other models are saved to the internal memory. Press the power button and release it and then quickly press the plus button which is your zoom in button. If you press and hold the power button too long, the unit will turn off. So just press the power button quickly and release it and then press the plus button. If you want to see if a screenshot was saved, press menu, select system, and then select browse files. We use this method to save screenshots of my walleye schools at Devil's Lake and Lake Vermilion. The students go on the water see things that they're struggling and interpreting and they bring it back and at the class we discuss what we see, tell them what we think uh, they were seeing and what they should have done. So, now you have it, go get your screenshots.